Well, I've just arrived at uh, Beni Osma Safaris in the Lipopo province of South Africa, where I'm going to spend the next couple of days. The particular lodge has uh, four stone cottages. It can accommodate 16 people. Beni Osma Safaris has 100,000 hectares of concessions combining stuff locally in South Africa and um, concessions on our neighboring countries. I'm looking forward to spending the, the next couple of days here and hopefully I'm successful. So Benny, thanks for having me and I'm looking forward to it. Pleasure having you here. Thank you. As you can see, there's a wonderful array of trophies that you can hunt at Beni Osma Safaris, ranging from warthog all the way through to hippos. It's quite remarkable. Cheers. All right, Andrew, when you're finished with your beer, I'll take you around and show you your room. Thank you very much. Yeah. As you can see, the room is beautifully furnished and it's a wonderful place to retreat to after a hard day's hunting. Hi, I'm Andrew McLeod and I'm in the main lodge of Benny Osma Safaris today in order to take you through the attributes of the combination that's sitting in front of me. It's a Stay and Manlicker rifle in 9.3 by 62 with a Leica Magnus 1 to 6.3 by 24i rifle scope. We're also going to be using RWS Evolution ammunition today as well as Leica Trinovid 10x42 HD binoculars. The Stein Manlicker has a beautiful walnut stock with a Bavarian style cheek piece, slim forehand and a schnabel tip which looks quite excellent. The barrel has beautiful spirals courtesy of the cold hammer forging process. It has a three position safety wheel system, the red denoting the fire position, then you move it into the second position denoted by a white dot which is allows you to manipulate the um, bolt and load and unload the rifle. The third position on the wheel safety allows you to remove the bolt and as you can see at the heart of the receiver we have a nice chunky bolt with, a f with four locking lugs. Also a very nice feature is coming out of the back of the bolt shroud is a cocking indicator so you know the condition of, of your rifle at, at any given point in time. The trigger has a very nice crisp pull to it. The Leica Magnus 1 to 6.3 by 24i rifle scope has a 30mm tube, 24mm objective and a very impressive 43.2m field of view at 100m. It has positive and audible elevation and windage adjustments. The reticel sits in the second focal plane, making it nice and fine at maximum power. It has very smooth power adjustments. It has an intelligent illumination system which has two modes, day mode and low light mode. In each setting there are 60 illumination settings. It also has a fast focusing diopter. The scope is extremely robust and should you take a tumble it will ensure that it holds at zero for you so you can conclude your hunt successfully. We're also going to be using the new Leica Trinovid 10x42 HD binoculars. They are compact and lightweight. They come with a comprehensive binocular harness and these should greatly assist us on the upcoming hunt. We're using RWS Evolution ammunition. This Evolution bullet is a 291 grain bullet. It's a bonded mass stable bullet with a rapid X tip for optimum expansion. It has a nickel plated tomback jacket for improve barrel life. What we're going to do now is we're going to head off to the shooting range although it's very windy out there at the moment and we need to do our best to confirm the zero 
and then put this particular um, combination through its paces. In the ball. Well, we've just returned from the shooting range and as you can see we've shot three very respectable groups in windy conditions out there and as you can see this combination of Leica, Steyr Manlika and RWS has uh, really really performed exceptionally well. In addition to confirming the zero of the rifle and shooting a three shot group we also performed a box test. Now the reason you do a box test is to ensure that the graduations and the movements that you make on the scope itself translate onto the target. So what we went and did is we moved 4 inches or 16 clicks up, then to the right, and shot one shot. We came down, 32 clicks, and fired another shot. We moved to the left, 32 clicks, and we fired another shot. And we repeated the process. We came up, 32 clicks, and we fired another shot. And then we came across right 16 clicks and down 16 clicks and fired another shot, bringing us right back to where our zero was. As you can see, I think we're pretty well prepared for this afternoon's hunt. What we're looking for is kudu, wildebeest or waterbuck, and hopefully we're going to be successful. like this type of terrain okay especially with this wind all right
Excellent. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Right, let's go and get it. Excellent. Benny, what I'd like to do is just actually turn them around because it was completely covered by, with vegetation when we took that shot. So I just want to see where that, that entrance wound is. There we go, on the point of the shoulder, it's cautioning slightly onto me. So that bullet's gone right the way through and it's lodged somewhere here in his abdomen. So it's going to be actually wonderful to see how that RWS EVO bullet performed. This scene epitomizes everything that Benny Osmo Safaris is. You've got the Sotpansberg mountain range in the background, Mapani shrubland here, which is home to massive kudus. The facilities here are fantastic. It's a 2,000 hectare property that is the base camp for Benny Osmo Safaris. Staff are friendly and well trained. I've had a wonderful stay here. Now I'm off to the butchery to see what my kudu looks like. This is a 291 grain RWS Evolution ammunition that we used to hunt this kudu bull. If you have a look over here, this kudu bull was quartering slightly onto me. The bullet entered in the front here, destroying the ball joint. Punched through the rib cage, passed through the heart and the stomach, and then lodged itself on the opposite side. This is the bullet that we recovered. As you can see, fantastic performance from this RWS ammunition. We've come to the end of our stay here at Benny Osma Safaris. I've had a wonderful kudu bull hunt. It was both heart-stopping and adrenaline-filled experience. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, RWS Ammunition, Steyer Manlika, and Leica. Without your support, this wouldn't be possible. For all of you out there who would like to read about this exciting experience, please look out for our October issue of our Wildland magazine. You can also catch this video on our Wildland YouTube channel. Till next time, cheers. Cheers.